So that's pretty interesting to kind of say the least where fasting or just kind of restrictive diets can implement and help with the ovaries overall for health, healthy ovaries, especially for women who are dealing with fertility issues or do have polycystic ovarian syndrome or cysts. These can be really beneficial by just implementing fasting. What's up my fasters? Welcome to another video. I am Dr. Grand, your host. And if you are new here, we talk about fasting, intermittent fasting, dry fasting, all the fasting detoxification videos that you could even dream of. So if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any other future fasting videos. All right, so let's get started. So today we are gonna talk about a topic that you guys have been demanding me. Well, maybe all the women have been demanding me about is fasting and ovarian cysts, particularly about just the ovaries. Uh, this has been a very common question asked about. So I'm finally, we're gonna talk about today. Okay, so first let's just discuss for anybody who is not familiar what ovarian cysts are. It is a fluid filled sac that is produced because anytime that the ovaries are releasing an egg, it does can create a cyst and those can be remaining. It can be either on the ovary or inside the ovary. Those can be filled. They can be either fluids filled or they can also be a tumor filled or a benign tumor. There's also a condition called what we call as polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is where there is a buildup of cysts or buildup of follicular cells that kind of form and create a cyst that can be hardening and this can cause infertility issues even for people who women that actually deal with a lot of different cysts so now getting that out of the way of course before I even go further um, we do have to of course a lot of cysts can in a can actually be an issue where there can lead to ovarian cancer. So a lot of these studies actually have to do with a lot of ovarian cancer, but keep in mind the concept as far as when it comes to ovarian cysts with fasting or restrictive diets can be applied to this particular condition as far as ovarian cysts in general. So first off is why can fasting help women have a healthier ovary? Well, when you are releasing those eggs and those cysts can happen, it is good for the body to keep on recycling those and of course not having all those benign scarring cysts and issues in the ovaries. Things such as autophagy that we know from fasting that can be increased that can actually help reduce a lot of the unnecessary cells in our system, so such as things as ovarian cysts that can be an issue. And then of course for women that are dealing with PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome, there that is also known as a contributing factor of hormone imbalance. Specifically a lot of the imbalances of, of showing prolactin levels being increased with women who have PCOS as well as insulin levels being an issue. When women who have PCOS, they'll have symptoms such as facial hair growth, uh, definitely irregular cycles or very absent cycles, infertility issues, as well as have very sugar imbalance. So they'll be usually put on metformin, which is a diabetic type of medication that diabetics are put on. So if we look at insulin, fasting we know can actually help with insulin by reducing insulin and insulin resistance that can help with PCOS as well as regulating hormones for women that have PCOS. The other thing that we have to look at is, of course, a lot of the research. So let's go ahead and dive into the research. I know that's what you guys have been kind of waiting on for is the research. So as I was looking into the research, as far as when it comes to ovarian cyst, it was more specifically more on ovarian cancer, uh, which can be contributed from ovarian cysts. So these can definitely be applied. So the first study I want to talk about is a study that was done with chickens. And they had two different groups, two different groups where one group was fed and another group that was actually had restricted feeding groups, regimens of different restricted feeding times. And what they found within these two groups is the fed group of the chickens had about 26.3 of the fed group chickens had ovarian adenoma carcinomas, so ovarian cancer. And then the group that was in the restricted fed regimen where they had restricted feeding times, they only found about 6.3% that had ovarian adenocarcinomas. 
or ovarian cancer. So they found that the restrictive diet regimens, there was about a five-fold reduction rate in ovarian cancer. So just looking at that, that's pretty significant, seeing that kind of a difference. Sure, it's not on humans, but we can kind of have apply somewhat of the same principle there. So the next study that I want to talk about is, yes, done with mice. And of course, a lot of studies are done with mice. We have yet to see a lot of studies done with humans when it comes to fasting. They are arising, but you gotta be patient. So we gotta kind of look at a lot of the different animal studies. So one of the studies that also I wanna talk about is yes, it was done with mice. What they did in this study was very similar to the chickens, but they were looking at something different. They wanna kind of see the health of the ovaries, how healthy they are over time, especially as the mice were aging over time. And so they took, uh, again, another group that was in a fed state versus a restricted diet type of regimen. And what they found is with these two different studies is that the mice that had after they kind of lived a big span of their life cycle, I'm not sure how long mice really lived, but it was like within, an, I think, a two and a half year span that they looked and assessed again the ovaries. What they found is that in the restricted feeding mice is that they found a younger biological ovaries that were in those types of mice versus the group that had, that were fed just regularly. So they found that, that the ovaries were actually more healthier and younger when there was a more restricted diet regimen with the mice there. So that's pretty interesting to kind of say the least where fasting or just kind of restricted diets can implement and help with the ovaries overall for health, healthy ovaries, especially for women who are dealing with fertility issues or do have polycystic ovarian syndrome or cysts. These can be really beneficial by just implementing fasting, doing some water fasting. It definitely won't hurt unless there's definitely something uh, that you're taking as far as medications or other kind of restrictive things that you probably should check your doctor first before starting doing fasting. But this is definitely a natural way that you can start implementing ways to be able to reduce the ovarian cysts. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, I enjoyed, of course, doing the research. If you have any more questions about this, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And then go ahead and give us a big thumbs up. If you liked this video, go ahead and share with your family and friends. And then of course, if it's your first time on our channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any other types of fasting videos that we do here on this channel. And then you can check out all these other links over here that I will leave for you if you've not seen these videos. Until next time, this is Dr. LeGrand signing out. Thanks, bye.